Welcome back to Fernando's Hideaway, and we have Mary Pola from the Census Bureau and from the Mayor's Office, Ramon Soto. Thank you for coming to the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Muchas gracias por venir. Gracias. And you guys are here to talk about an opportunity that people can have. Uh, this is kind of stimulus stuff, right? Uh, well, it's a stimulus in the sense that it's a, a lot of uh, funding that um, is directly related to how we respond to the census. Um, so that there's, you know, some people project up to $400 billion mm -hmm. that are um, directly accountable to how many people we count in the, um, and, and, and my, obviously my concern is specifically in the city of Boston. Okay. And now this is obviously a, a Massachusetts state project, correct? Not, That's not national. federal. Oh, it is national. national. Okay. National. So the state part partnering with national concerns. Well, it's, it's part of the U.S. Constitution, and mm -hmm. every 10 years, it's been going on now for 100 years, mm -hmm. um, everyone is counted. So, okay. Yes. Una pregunta. ¿Cuántas, más o menos, cuántas personas solicitan ustedes cada vez que, 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 que hacen el censo? Solicitan... Para trabajar. Para trabajar. Uh, bueno, esa pregunta será mejor para Mary. En este momento estamos buscando a personas que están disponibles para tomar la prueba, en inglés y en español, 7,569 personas. Pero eso no significa que todas esas personas van a recibir trabajo. Okay. En inglés? 7,569 7, 7, applicants. Okay. We create a pool mm -hmm. based off of those individuals that take the test and mm -hmm. qualify. And then from that pool, um, approximately, um, from what I heard today, about 1,300 jobs will mm -hmm. be available. Great, well what kind of jobs would those be? Would those be mostly going door to door for the census or they include all kinds of jobs? It's a combination. Um, the bulk of the hiring will happen March for April because in March is when the questionnaire will be going out to everyone's home. Mm -hmm. um, and then in April, April 1st is census day, those, those questionnaires will be coming back, and based off of that, that's what's going to guide how many true positions we're really going to need at that point in time. But they're um, approximating that it's about 1,300 positions hmm. within our office in Boston South. Right. Now, uh -huh. in what context do you guys work together? How do you facilitate what goes on? Um, well, I think there's, there's the overall goal, which is to make sure that we count every single person in the city of Boston. Um, and that is going to that's going to be a very big task because not not everyone knows um, just how important it is and how easy it is. Um, a lot of times, you know, folks get things in the mail, they look at it once, and it goes, you know, right mm -hmm. to the trash, right? Well, you know, we we have to break that cycle when it comes to this very very important form. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, almost uh, well, they're projecting four hundred billion dollars a year get distributed, carved up for mm -hmm. all the, for, for the entire country based on how many people you count in each locale. Mm -hmm. So the city of Boston can't afford to, to not be as proactive as possible to make sure that we find every single person and, and have them fill out a form and send it in because it, it, it's just so important and it, it comes right down to the, the, the funding that you get um, from school transportation to school lunches. Um, and health services, public safety, all sorts of stuff. Uh -huh. para, para la gente. En español, ¿le puede explicar un poquito en español lo que acaba de Bueno, lo que lo, <laughs> eh, puedo tratar. Um, so, es muy importante que contamos a, a, a toda nuestra uh, población en, en Boston um, porque hay uh, 400 billones de, de, de dólares que es distribuido en todo la, um, Estados Unidos uh, y eso depende en, en el número de personas que nosotros contamos en, en nuestra ciudad. So, si nos contamos a todos, eh, puede ser que no vamos a tener todos los fondos que nosotros ne necesitamos. Una pregunta. Mucha gente tiene a veces miedo de uh -huh. pronto eh, decir, oh, vivo aquí por el estatus migratorio que tiene. Uh -huh. I'm, asking, I'm asking them, there are a lot of people are afraid to say uh, something about the sense of, oh, I live here or something because right. of the migratory status that they ah, have. Ah, I see. Bueno, todo es, este, y, y, perdón que no, no sé la palabra, pero todo es confidential. Confidencial. Confidencial. Um, hasta el presidente mismo no puede ver 
lo, los resultados. Y eso es muy import importante de, um, a, a, a saber porque um, eso debe de um, um, dar un poquito más de seguridad, de a, la seguridad gente, a la gente. Que no hay problema si, sí, si se... porque lo que, lo que es más importante es que contamos a todos porque esos mismos servicios que, lo, que, es, que nuestros inmigrantes claro. um, utilizan, ese dinero viene del conteo del census. Y también si puedo añadirle un poquito, la, todas las personas que están trabajando con el census, en este momento cuando este, nos dan la posición del trabajo, no importa si es eh, trabajo de oficina hasta la persona más grande, todito nosotros, ninguno de nosotros podemos decir quién vino a tomar exámenes, los resultados, quién está trabajando ese tipo de información, porque es confidencial toda esa información. Hasta la persona que va a ir puerta a puerta a conseguir la información del cuestionario, esa información no se puede dar a nadie. Si no, sí. nos dan una... <laughs> so they have to sign like a paper that everything is confidential, that everything is... We're sworn in. Mm -hmm. Sworn in. Yeah. So for all those conspiracy theorists out there, you don't have to worry. <laughs> no, that's, that's we're, right. we'll, exactly. be, we'll be hit with a, a, a very big fine and also five years of jail if right. any of that information is divulged. Well, let's return to the positive side of Thank all you. of this. Uh, <laughs> some <know>. more <laughs> that's of the benefits. No, that's a good, yeah. No, no, very it's good very important. Know. The benefits yeah. that we get out of knowing how many people we have in the state yes. and in the country. Yes. Can you outline more of those? Well, I think that one of the key benefits that everyone needs to understand um, outside of jobs is that um, the more we know who lives in our city, um, you know, services are being used. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, in order to be able to provide better quality services, mm -hmm. you need to know who's living in your city, including right. all the students that come in from out of town to all the colleges that are located in the Boston mm -hmm. area. If they're here as of April 1st, we count them. They belong to this city. So everyone is included, people that um, are undocumented, babies, seniors, mm -hmm. you name it. Anyone mm -hmm. that has a pulse that lives in Boston proper, those individuals will be counted and those numbers um, will benefit the city. If we don't sign off, if the questionnaire is very simple, it's only 10 questions, mm -hmm. um, takes 10 minutes mm -hmm. and you just need to answer it, pop it right back in the mail and you're done. Okay. And that's what, uh, so the city is working um, uh, on, uh, we're working on this in, in two ways. One, we're working with outside partners to make sure that we reach every one of those populations, mm -hmm. um, from from uh, the elderly to the immigrant community to the to the to the youth as well. Um, so we're going to use our our partners in the community to make sure that we reach all those places. We're also doing an internal census program, which utilizes every one of our departments and agencies, and make sure that we use the the arm of government to mm -hmm. to really saturate mm -hmm. um, every avenue and let people know that. If you if you don't um, if you uh, what's Claudia's favorite um, if we can't move forward until you send it back. That's right. Oh, nice nice little saying there. <laughs> In español. Es que es mucho. Es a lot, but you can say it in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bueno, este, básicamente lo más importante es que todo el mundo tiene que saber, hasta los estudiantes que llegan aquí a esta ciudad para estudiar, no importa si son para conseguir el bachillerato hasta arriba, eh, todas esas personas que están aquí estudiando, esas personas se, se, cuando este, repasamos y mandamos los formularios, los cuestionarios afuera, esas personas que están aquí, que vienen de afuera de otros estados para estudiar, el primero de abril es bien importante porque nosotros contamos a esas personas, parte de la comunidad de Boston. Entonces, este, no solamente son ellos, son los bebés, son los ancianos, es todo el mundo, que las personas que no tienen vivienda, todo el mundo se cuenta porque entonces de ahí es que va a llegar este, los números y también es bien importante saber que este, en el estado de Massachusetts también íbamos a perder un asiento, sino es bien importante de mantener eso en, en el nivel de, este, del estado, eh, del, Sena, del Senado, eh, uh -huh. este, que vamos a perder, a lo mejor no se sabe después de este conteo si vamos a tener los dos asientos que tenemos en el nivel del, del Senado. So, es bien importante todo el mundo ser contado, este, que lleguen los beneficios de, de, de conteo después que se termine. Eh, por eso es que estamos tra tra trabajando tan y tan duro para conseguir todas las personas este, para poder eh, tenerlos a ellos que vengan eh, y apliquen y también este, tomen el examen. Y como dije, todo el mundo no va a recibir una oportunidad de trabajar, pero si no, es beneficioso porque 
eh, cuando la persona llena el, el, la solicitud y también el I-9, eh, toda esa información entra en el sistema de Washington y también eh, se hace un background check y si esa persona pasa, si no consigue trabajo con eh, nosotros, a lo mejor puede conseguir trabajo con otro departamento federal. So, eso ayuda también para esas personas que están buscando empleo en, en otro departamento. Eso es bien importante. So, even if you don't get hired here, mm -hmm. they consider you for another position. Maybe. Well, you ah, can apply to other positions, and if you pass the background check with the Homeland Security, it opens mm -hmm. up other doors for you also. Is, before we go, is there a, a phone number or a website that people oh, yes. can contact? Yes, it's 866-861-2010. Mm -hmm. And that number is um, a number where when you call, mm -hmm. all you have to do is uh, press in your zip code. And based on your zip code, it will send you to the local census office of your community. So that's when, if you're interested in signing up for a test, uh, mm -hmm. you can sign up for a test at that point. In okay. our office, we have right now, I think, last I count, I think we're up to 90 testing sessions throughout the city of Boston from Sunday through Saturday, from the morning to the evening. You also so. want to check out uh, cityofboston.gov slash census. That's the mayor's website mm -hmm. uh, for everything census related in the city of Boston. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for coming, Ramon and Mary. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Gracias. And we're going to go to another insert of the Dream Gala, and then we'll be back with our special musical guest, Gilda Betancourt. So stay with us. Ya regresamos con el show de Fernandito. <laughs> 